Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the circular permutation. This topic is part of our series about permutation in which napakarami na natin videos about permutation at yung mga links nila ay nasa ating description box. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Goin. Let's do this topic. So basically, let us define first what is circular permutation. Circular permutation is the total number of ways in which n distinct objects can be arranged around a fixed circle. Para mas maintindihan natin yung pinaka-use o yung definition ng circular permutation, let's have this problem. In this problem, in how many ways can three people be seated around a circular table? So again, so let's say for example, itake natin to bilang personal problem natin. Let's say for example, you invited your three classmates sa bahay niyo, and then meron kayong table. So let's say for example, meron kayong table. Okay? And meron kayong tatlong kuan. And you want to arrange them, to arrange them in, three, uh, in different ways. So let's say for example, yung first classmate mo, yung first person natin, can be labeled as 1. And then dito si person number 2. At dito naman si person number 3. Yan ha? Person number 1, person number 2, and person number 3. Ngayon, when it comes to circular permutation, yung arrangement na 1, 2, person number 1, 2, and 3. Yan yung first arrangement natin. Pero kung mapansin mo, sa circular permutation, sa arrangement na to, Parehas lang siya kung mag-start tayo sa 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. Isang, parehas lang yan. And same lang din siya kapag 3, 1, and 2. Meaning, itong lahat ang nandito is counted lang bilang one way or one possible way. Eh sir, ano pa yung ibang possible way? So, imagine this one. Try natin gawin na ano. Yung arrangement natin is like this. Si 1 dito pa rin. Pero, dito na si 2, at dito na si 3. Kapapansin nyo, uh, dito, clockwise, pero dito ay counterclockwise, in which, kailangan nyo tandaan when it comes to circular permutation, that clockwise direction or clockwise arrangement is different from the counterclockwise arrangement. So, dito, yung ating arrangement ay 1, 3, 2, right? 1, 3, 2. Tapos, uh, meron pa tayong arrangement na 3, 2, 1. And then possible arrangement din ay 2, 1, and 3. In which, itong tatlong arrangement na to ay considered lang as one way. So, all in all, sa problem na to, we have two different ways on how to arrange these three people in a circular table. Pero sir, what if napakarami na? Napakarami ng, napakarami ng taong kailangan natin arrange around a circular table. So, yun ang pasok kayo yung ating formula na P is equal to the quantity of N minus 1 factorial. Again, the permutation of, for circular permutation is P is equal to N minus 1 factorial. So, dito, in our formula, your N is the number of elements or kung ilan yung iyong kailangan i-arrange, that is 3. So given this formula, you have P is equal to substitute the value of N, that is 3 minus 1 factorial. So simplifying this, this will give you 3 minus 1, that is 2 factorial. And we know that 2 factorial is 2 times 1 or simply equal to 2. So meron tayong two different ways on how to arrange these three people in a circular or round table. Now let's move on with item number two. For item number two or for problem number two, in how many ways can seven people be seated at a round table? So given the formula, the permutation of n minus one factorial. So in this problem, your n is equal to seven because you have seven people to be seated. And simplifying this, substitute the value of n in our formula, that is the permutation of 7 minus 1 factorial. And this will become 
6 factorial, we're in, ang 6 factorial natin, we know that that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, ang ating 6 times 5, that is 30. And yung ating 4 times 3 is 12 times 2, that is 24. So, that is 30 times 24. Again, 6 times 5 is 30. Tapos yung 24 natin, it came from 4 times 3, that is 12, times 2, 24 times 1 is 24. So multiplying these numbers, this is 4 times 0, that is 0, 4 times 3, that is 12, so 1, and 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6. And simplifying this, this will give you 720. So all in all, we have 720 different ways on how to arrange seven people in a round table. So, ganun na kasimple yung paggamit ng formula ng circular permutation. So, let's move on with the real problem. Find the number of ways that a family of six can be seated around a circular table with six chairs. Again, same lang sila, pero ito kasi in, in, na, in our real life situation na meron six, merong family with six members at ang tanong dito in how many different ways can we arrange them differently so using the formula again the permutation of n minus 1 factorial and given this problem you have your n be equal to 6 okay so substituting the value of n in this formula your p is equal to 6 minus 1 factorial okay we're in 6 minus 1, that is simply 5 factorial. And we know that 5 factorial is equivalent to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We're in 5 times 4 is 20. Tapos 3 times 2, 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. So 20 times 6, that will give us 120. So all in all, Meron tayong 120 different ways on how to arrange a family with 6 members gamit yung ating circular table. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. If meron kang requested topic, pwede kang mag-comment sa ating comment section para magawa natin ito ng video. I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!